<laughs> Hi, I'm Niles. Hi, I'm Riza. <laughs> and this is our first video sort of sharing what our life adventures have led into recently. Um, our intention here is just to sort of share what's going on and what things we've learned uh, with the adventures that we've gotten into um, as well as sort of like demonstrate or see if we can inspire some different creative ideas maybe in your life that could uh, help you to realize some greater happiness. Right. Um, yeah. So basically um, we're going to be sharing with you guys our journey and the space that we're living in and the journey of just minimalizing in general. So hopefully it's exciting for you guys like it has been for us. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. We're in Aptos, California, which is about like 10 miles south or so of Santa Cruz. Uh, we're like two miles from the beach. It's a beautiful location. There's giant eucalyptus trees, cypress trees everywhere. It's amazing. We get to live in close proximity with the ocean and the mountains. It's awesome. Um, and we've been here for about three months or so doing a, a woofing program. It's worldwide organic farming. Uh, basically an online program that allows us to go to different locations throughout the U.S. and uh, work in exchange for a place to stay. And we work uh, in the garden while we're learning different principles of agriculture and it's been amazing. Um, we have this car here, 2010 Toyota Highlander. Thanks mom for that, that really helps. <laughs> um, so that gets us places. Um, and we tow this. This is Gypsy. She is 1,600 pounds and she is 13 feet long and she has been nothing but good to me. I got her in uh, Montreal uh, in Quebec, Canada and uh, I got her for 1700 bucks uh, from a super nice guy named Sheldon um, and this has really been just a, a gateway to so much freedom and so amazing, so many amazing opportunities. Um, yeah, and so it tows really nicely, it's super easy to do. Um, apparently it sleeps four. Uh, it's got like a gas two burner stove and a heater and a full size bed. Um, basically the absolute minimum that you really need. Um, all that we don't have is a bathroom shower, but that's an adventure to find in itself. <laughs> so there you go. Um, yeah, coming around, we got some bicycles out here. We got some plants going on. Um, we've got some spearmint, a fig tree, some red Russian kale, uh, some aloe. Uh, and a few succulents and things going on, some marigolds. Um, coming around, we just got easy access to tools. One thing we have going on here is a little compost bin. Um, any vegetable scraps or anything, we just like to keep them in this bin. And then at the farm we're living at now, we are able to throw it in a compost bin and it just uh, generates some really healthy soil for the plants. Um, and so we also have our water here. We put a lot of love into our water. Um, we have alkaline water, which helps to keep our bodies less acidic um, and just contribute to more health. Um, yeah, so we keep it in glass as well as to avoid like micro particles that get rubbed off when you have water in plastic. Um, so yeah, we keep it in glass. Let's see, we just got a simple like little shoe rack here and this like simple takedown table. Um, a skateboard, some extra water. Uh, and then we got more toys in the back. We have a mountain bike, a surfboard, some skis, a shovel and a rake, my wetsuit. Um, see behind a gip gypsy and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. So this is inside gypsy. I don't know how many square feet it is, but it's not very many. Um, yeah, there's, but there's a lot going on. So uh, we'll start over here. So this is our altar where I keep most of my tarot cards and our white sage and our little Tibetan bowl. And basically this is where we set our intentions and make sure that we have good vibes inside of our space. Yeah, and this table that everything is on was intentionally a bed, um, but I don't myself or want anybody to sleep on this thing. So um, we just turned it into a table that we put all of our food and stuff on. Um, so yeah, we use mason jars to hold a lot of our uh, dry food, which, which seems to work out pretty well. Um, yeah, we got just lots of vegetables and spices going on. Um, it has these things as well. Overall, this space does a really good job of sort of like ergonomically using the space that it does have available um, because it's definitely limited. So yeah, in here we just have some, well it's not mine, but Raz has got some makeup. Uh, we got some like knitting stuff. 
Uh, over here we just got more mason jars as well as some like important papers and vitamins and things. Good stuff. Um, yeah, and so it just has these little racks for all of our spices. Um, we cook with cast iron, it works pretty well. This is the little stove that comes from the propane. It lasts us about uh, like three months or so, maybe even longer, depending on how much we cook. Uh, and it's like 20 bucks to fill it, it's super easy. Um, and uh, yeah, we have this fridge also. Um, it runs off of electric and propane, so if we're traveling, we're able to run it off the propane and have a fridge with us, which is super helpful. Um, and then when we plug into an outlet or something, we just switch it over to electricity. Um, and it keeps all of our food nice and cool. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, and so in here, uh, it just ha we just have a bunch of like duffel bags and things <laughs> in there. We got a giant knife um, and a bunch of shoes, an umbrella, all just useful stuff. And then in this one, we just have uh, some extra bags and we keep some shoes in there as well. Um, this is apparently another bed. Um, not a very big bed, so we just use it as uh, more storage. Um, so we got some, like our trash over here. We got a blender back here for making yummy smoothies. Uh, I got my guitar. We got some like random bits and bobs there. We have this electric heater uh, that we plug in uh, when we have electricity. It keeps us nice and warm at night. Um, it doesn't put up much heat, but because it's such a small space, it really works out well and it gets super hot in here. Um, so we just got backpacks, laundry, uh, more of that stuff in here. We just have simple like forks and knives and plates and coffee stuff. Uh, this is our little water heater here for coffee, tea, whatever. Um, up here, we keep a lot of our dry food. Uh, again, some more jars with rice and lots of nuts and stuff. Easy stuff for on the road. Um, yeah, in here we keep all of our pots and pans, more cast iron and uh, just bowls and rags and things. Um, this is a propane heater, which I have never used, but apparently it works. I just haven't really figured it out yet. Um, and then we just plug, for all of our electricity in here, we just plug from this outlet here. It's just a simple 110 um, and then goes to this power strip and it powers all of our lights and the heater and everything. Uh, it seems to work out pretty well. Um, here we have a sink and a cutting board um, and this sink works as a pump like this which isn't the easiest to wash dishes with but it gets the job done nonetheless um, so yeah that's that uh, it has an option to do like running water as well but I've never played with it maybe we'll do it in the future I have no idea um, and so yeah it's got all these windows that twist open and close uh, it's gone back here and all around uh, it's also got this roof vent which is super helpful open and close that um, and so yeah this is our I don't know I don't know what to call this space but we have a bunch of our stuff over here we got ukulele a bunch of our books uh, and a bunch of crystals as well uh, and we have this speaker system that goes on both sides the other one's actually hanging up there but uh, it like creates a really just like a, a womb of surround sound in here it's really <laughs> nice um, and here we just have more books winter hats our library yeah that's it um, and let's see in here we got Rise's clothes and in here yeah amongst the clothes we have some camera <laughs> gear um, yeah we got it this was fun for me to minimize that. <laughs> we got the sacred geometry hanging to remember to remind us that nature is always with us and it's all unified in one pattern um, and over here we just have some more I don't know stuff some shelves and things like this under this bed we have some more storage uh, where we just keep random things, laptops, extra water bottles, and other random things. In here is just more, this is our random shit box right there. <laughs> That's where all the random stuff goes. We got some like winter gear here. Uh, and then this is my closet where I keep all of my clothes. Uh, it's been cleaner in the past and messier also, but <laughs> yeah, cool. And then this thing magically turns into a table. Okay, yeah, this is the table. Um, it's got a giant map of the United States, our territory here that we can drive to, which is sweet. Um, underneath these chairs is a bunch of storage as well, uh, where we keep sort of just a bunch of like tools and camping gear and stuff. Uh, so there's one of these on both sides and that's super helpful for storing stuff that we don't usually use on like a day-to-day -day basis. 
um, but that we still need. Um, and yeah, it's nice to eat our meals here. Feels just like home. <laughs> okay, so that was the tour of inside of Gypsy, and now we're gonna go show you guys the outside and the farm of where we've been staying and whooping at. We hung up these rings right outside our place, and they're pretty fun to play on. There's a bunch of other stuff to play on too. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys the earth house, and actually right here is a little space that we worked on. Um, somebody dropped this pot, and instead of just throwing it away, we decided to make it into a beautiful piece of art, and filled it with a lot of dirt, and collected some succulents, and uh, also cleaned up this rhubarb here. So over here is the earth house, and basically made of mud. This is a composting toilet, and also this is the shower part over here. I've never actually showered here, but it looks really nice. Um, and then, so basically the gray water from the earth house goes outside into a little garden that's over here in the front. And it basically recycles the water so that it's not being wasted. And on this side is the composting bin, where the community will come and drop off their food. And Nelson is the person that's in charge of this, so he's been teaching us a little bit about the soil structure and things that he does to make sure that it's viable and keeps the worms alive. All right. Yeah, so there's like about 15 or 20 people that live in this little village, um, and a lot of the structures are yurts that people live in, so this is one example of that. They're pretty cool spaces. This is again the earth house with the compost and toilet and shower and that garden that the gray water funnels down into. Uh, here, a yoga space to play with our bodies and do fun things. <laughs> right, sweet. And now we're going to take a hike down into the garden here. I have a bunch of bamboo growing out here. Um, this is the open bit of space that they have for about 30 or so chickens. Uh, I think four emus and two pigs. Um, and so, yeah, they collect eggs from them. Uh, there's a little burn pile. Yeah, we have a lot of projects that we've been working on here. Um, on the right here, actually, is a little fruit tree guild that we've been working on building, uh, where we planted a bunch of these different trees and threw some mulch down on top. Um, so that was one of our little projects. Yeah, a good size hive of bees to pollinate all of the local flowers that we have here. Um, yeah, good element of symbiosis on this farm. Uh, again, over here we have a bunch more uh, compost beds where um, we are learning uh, different pH uh, levels of the soil uh, and what's healthiest, what's best for certain types of plants, uh, as well as what we can put into the soil to sort of regulate that pH level. And so, yeah, we're experimenting with different, uh, we're actually putting cardboard in here, uh, lots of coffee grains, and again, vegetables, and there's lots of other organic matter that sort of decomposes and gives healthy plants, it's really good. Um, and so we have a bunch of raised beds here. Uh, that we sort of are responsible for weeding and uh, we haven't done too much planting because it is the winter season uh, However, there is a ton going on here. Uh, you can see a bunch of arugula in this one a uh, bunch of onions over there um, and Yeah, and so just tons of different vegetables my favorites are the kale those have been going pretty strong all winter um, they're all uh, on a drip irrigation system as well that goes autonomously with an uh, electronic controller, so that's nice. Um, some giant kale over here. Yeah, I have some more compost bins, more onions, lots of strawberries going on, more kale, more compost bins. They make really trippy sounds. Kind of like the drum. Yeah, so that has been our current farm. We've been here for a couple months and it's been a pretty wonderful experience. Um, in terms of the minimalization that we've experienced recently, uh, from living in Gypsy and just being so like minimal with all of our stuff, uh, it's so simple. And getting rid of a ton of things that you may have, that I did have, um, uh, those things sort of occupy a space in your mind 
uh, whether it's subliminal or you're aware of it. And uh, getting rid of a ton of things really frees up like this mental space in your head, this head space that really just liberates uh, your awareness and your passion to expand into different things that you really love to do. Um, it liberates your self on a physical sense in that you're not weighed down by all of this stuff and uh, it's like it's gifted me a sense that I can just pack all my stuff in a couple of hours and go anywhere in the United States. Uh, it's like I'm not locked down to any one specific place um, and I'm self-sufficient. Our energy is coming from the sun. Uh, a lot of our food is coming from local areas and directly from our garden here at the farm. Um, just learning these principles and holding on to the intention of spreading these loving principles that are gifting us harmony and happiness and also the earth harmony and happiness. Um, this is what we are expanding and what we are uh, really just trying to learn on. This is the wavelength that we are pursuing and really uh, just looking to expand and share. Yes. <laughs> so I guess on just my aspect of the journey, it has definitely been liberating as well. Um, to minimize all of my stuff and to fit it in here and just go and What I've learned is that any fear that I that I've ever had isn't real and simply just by bringing light to it and making making yourself aware that you have a fear um, You know you, you're able to release it and once you release it the the creativeness the joy the harmony everything that can manifest into your life you've now manifested the space, or I should say created the space to manifest things that you want and to pull in experiences and people that will resonate with you. Um, so yeah, choose love and choose happiness and all will be well. You sound like hippies. <laughs> we are hippies. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>